Welcome back to Skill Modeling. This is Trumpeter's BRD Class 52 locomotive, scale 135. Impact sets I, but only worked on the pipe work that connects um, the, the boiler to the wheels in the mainframe. Or in this part, I'm going to be working on the wheels. The wheels. So that's um, the wheels are themselves, uh, the mechanisms and braces and everything that goes with it. So let's jump into this and see how I get on. Well, I'm starting off making the brakes for the wheels, and it comes in two main parts. Uh, there's a little lip that the main connecting bar rests on. Now it's just a simple case of putting the two together. And it's onto the wheels, and if you remember, I painted these in Humbro 60 Scarlet Red. And um, first of all, I, I'm just uh, placing on these all parts. So the um, Axle connection uh, part goes on, and there's a little hub cap uh, cover thing that goes on. I'm not sure what these are for, but um, there you are. I'm using Rebel Aquiller 06 Tab Black, and this is for uh, two bars that are on the front of the uh, main frame of the uh, locomotive. And then I'm going back to Omro 60 Scarlet, and this is for the uh, push uh, pistons and uh, the working mechanism for the actual train. So the central part is just painted in this uh, red colour. And it's back to the wheels and it's rebel up colour 91 steel and these are for the rims of the wheels. And then while I've got the red out I'm going back to the wheels and just uh, touching up the paint and painting the areas that obviously need to be painted. Going back to the framework that I painted, uh, I call these uh, the push mechanisms, but they're not. It's uh, part of the actual local f uh, locomotive frame. And there's a, a couple of brackets that I have to place in here to hold it on to the next part of the frame. And as you can see, it's uh, like a twin beam that I'm uh, assembling here. It's time to put on some little parts uh, before I put those uh, twin beams on. The this is just a connecting part, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. And then on the front of the uh, mainframe, I'm placing on the two curved, uh, I think the pipes, I'm not 100% sure, they go on. They just um, curve right uh, down the frame. Now I'm going to be weathering this as I go along. So I'm using Rebel Aquacolor 91 steel. And I've got um, a, a lot of stubble brush here. And I'm hardly putting any pigment on the actual brush, or wiping off any excess, and I'm just dragging the brush over the raised areas so that um, it looks like some of the bare metal is coming through. And the little part I've just put it on is painted with Mr. Hobby H18 Steel Met Metallic. So I'm just painting up these uh, parts as I go along. Placing on the twin beams that I made up, as you can see, they get connected right to the mainframe. The, there is a tiny little location points for these to sit in, but it's uh, quite tricky to get them aligned. Um, there is not a lot of room here, uh, in there, so I had to um, sort of push them in uh, quite firmly. So as you can see here, I've gone back to some more wheels, and um, I'm just putting them in the scarlet colour. So that's the Humbro 60 scarlet. And these are going to be painted in the exact same way as the main wheels. These are the front wheels of the train. And then I'm going on to weathering some more of these uh, beams. These are the actual uh, push uh, piston beams that I was referring to earlier on, not the twin beam. Um, so I'm, I'm painting them the same way, just weathering them up using the um, steel colour just to make it look like the bare metal is coming through. Time to put the wheels in, and I'm just um, making sure that I've got the axle centre into the um, location point. Now a little bit of cement will hold it, um, but it didn't really require cement if um, you're doing this, but the, the wheels are not really meant to be free moving anyway. So once the wheels are in, it's uh, time to put the brake in, and that, the actual location point for this is very small. Um, so. But when I done it, I had to make sure that the, the brake was actually lined up with the rim of the wheel. Uh, some of them had a tendency to uh, uh, sort of drift up a little bit, so I had to make sure that didn't happen on each one. 
And now for the first uh, push bar mechanism to turn the wheels. There's uh, more of these than I thought. As I said before in the other videos, I don't know a lot about steam trains. But um, th these um, push bars or whatever you call them, th th there's more of them than I actually realised. So that was quite interesting while finding that out while building this key. Once more it's on row 60 Scarlet. And these uh, parts here are the braces between the wheels. And there, there's uh, one or two little bits uh, to make up here. Um, they all go in between the um, wheels on the underside of it. As you can see here, this is a, like a solid roll, just be uh, spaces in between that I'm having to make up. And once the password dry, it's time to place them on. So I'm just placing the one on between the um, housing or where the um, piston rods uh, go, first of all. Some of them, um, I think it was um, how I cut them off the screw, I may have cut them off too short, um, but a lot of them. Um, it was about half a millimetre to um, not long enough, so I had to um, squeeze the wheels together just to get them fitted. And as you can see here, I'm just pla uh, placing on the steps to go into the cabin. There's a two little uh, tiny little location points uh, to hold these, um, but I'm just propping them up with some paint pots so that the thing doesn't um, sort of drift down uh, while it sets. So now uh, I'm going back to the little uh, braces for these ladders. They, they're on a slight angle, I uh, place them in. Um, they, they weren't easy to put on, just the nature of the shape of them. But they, they go onto the base of, of the cab and uh, rest against the actual steps. On the underside, there's various uh, little piston things that have to go on as well. And they get braced in between the actual wheel braces. So that, that sounds a bit confusing, but um, there, there's a series of, of these bars, and as you can see there, um, it, it's better making them up as you go on. Um, I was thinking about making these, assembling them beforehand, but um, I discovered to get them all in position, it was easier just to make them up uh, as I'm um, building it. That way I know, know that I'm not going to push them in too far, because each rod has a goes in the central column and there's a hole in there to push it in so you, I don't want to push them in too far and as, as I said there's a series of, of these uh, to do right up um, through each brace support so this is where I'll end part 7 uh, I, I've got a few of these to, to go but um, the next uh, part is uh, putting uh, some more uh, push bar levers pistons in on the actual main wheel mechanism so I'll cover that in the, the next video. Once I've placed these in, I'll, I'll just touch them up with uh, some paint and get it all freshened up. I'd like to point out as well, I've been asked uh, why I use um, so many different brands of paint. And the main reason that is each uh, brand of paint behaves differently. Um, and also, I don't like mixing colours. I prefer just using the colours straight from the pot. Hence why I've got so many different brands. I do test these to make sure I can work with them in, in a specific way and whether they will interact well with um, the other brands. So in case you're wondering, that is why I use different brands. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel? Uh, there may be something there of your interest. If you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. You'll be updated with uh, this video and uh, all my other videos. Hit that like button and leave a comment and don't forget to share the video but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye